Hey, a lot of you out there probably already know that this past weekend, I put a video up where I was addressing some rumors that people had started about me that I was now a werewolf, that I had been bitten and I was a werewolf. And I know how those rumors got started. I posted a video of myself actually being attacked by a werewolf on my shooting platform on my property. That's where people started thinking, oh no, you're a werewolf. The reason they started thinking that was because they were like, there's no way you got your gun around quickly enough to take care of that werewolf. He was right on you. And also, why would you have silver bullets in your practice gun? Well, I didn't. I didn't have silver bullets in my practice gun. And as much as I'd like to pretend like, oh yeah, I'm just that fast, I can get around and get him, that's not what happened. I didn't get bitten by that werewolf because I was prepared. I never go out into the woods, not even on my own property, unless I'm wearing my WAPS belt. Now you might ask yourself, what's a WAPS belt? Well, it's W-A-P-S, and that stands for Werewolf Anti-Penetration System. It's a really simple mechanism. It's just a belt you wear, has a small firearm attached to the back, and through a system of little levers, if a werewolf tries to deflower you, those levers are depressed, the gun fires. So when that werewolf comes at you and goes for your no-no zone, which is the first thing they do, they go straight for it. That gun's gonna fire and take care of your problem. And that's what happened. That's how I took care of that werewolf. I was prepared. It wasn't because I'm some sort of Rambo or some super tactical guy. I was just ready for him. But unfortunately, I can't always be ready. You can't always be prepared. You can't always keep your guard up. And unfortunately, I let my guard down when I was at the gun rights policy conference not too long ago. One night, I was in my hotel room and I decided I had to leave. I would have been okay if I had just stayed in my hotel room. Looking back now, I'm just like, don't leave the hotel. It's common sense. But I had no choice. I had run out of gummy bears and Twinkies at the same time. So I had to venture out in the night to a store down the street. Well, it was a particularly dark night. And I was walking along and I noticed, you know, even though it's dark, when the clouds parted, I saw there was a full moon. And when I saw that full moon, I started to worry just a little bit. I should have turned around and I should have gone back right then and there. Looking back, I know that would have been the right thing to do. I should have just ran, but I didn't. And then suddenly it came at me out of the darkness. It just came at me so quickly. I had no idea what was even happening before I even knew what was happening. It was too late. And since that day, I've been fighting with everything I have. I have been fighting. Lord knows I've been fighting. I've been doing everything to resist. And I just can't. And now that it's about to turn midnight on the night before Halloween, I can't resist anymore. That is the most evil night of the year. There's no way I can fight it anymore. But I don't want to hurt anybody. I, I, I thought maybe I should just do myself in. But I can't. I'm too big a coward. Uh, but my other fear is that I will hurt somebody else. So I thought I'd better warn people. I should make this video and warn people. Even though that video I made earlier about being a werewolf, I made light of it. I joked about it. I only did that because the reality is way worse. I wasn't bitten by a werewolf. What I was bitten by was a foot. <sighs> I was bitten by a <clears throat> oh, howdy! Imagine seeing y'all here. Hey, it's almost the end of the month. Y'all bought anything from Buds yet? You need to go buy yourself something from Buds. Oh, and you might want to buy some gold and silver while you're at it. Everyone needs some gold and silver. Oh, but don't spend all your money on gold and silver or at Buds because you got to send some money to the NRA. If it wasn't for the NRA, you wouldn't have no rights. They've been fighting for you longer and harder than anybody. Oh, and did I tell y'all about red flag laws? No one ain't got to worry nothing about no red flag laws. Red flag laws ain't never not hurt nobody. 
The government ain't coming for your guns, not the good ones anyway. Nobody ever needed a bump stock anyhow. If you can't hunt with it, you don't need it.